So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week five. If you guys don't know, I usually make these weekly. So that way, if people are away from their computer, they can at least look at the videos and be prepared for when they get home, I guess. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. And other than that, let's get into it because this video shouldn't be that long. So for the first one, we're going to be looking at Antiquarian 5. Return the fifth relic to the helm. Also defeat powerful fallen throughout the system. Defeating more powerful combatants will award bonus progress. Not hard. Literally do the story that's already out for this week and kill powerful fallen. That's really it. Expert Expedition 2. In Expedition, gather treasure into the treasure hall and defeat champions. Not hard. Just do expeditions. I personally hate them because they're a little too long and they're not even that good sometimes. But I mean you have to do is collect 25 treasure which is not much like at all and the champions could be defeated uh in expeditions as well just be sure to at least shoot them and that's it spyglass defeat targets with scout rifles and shatter damage defeat combatants in, in cat cra defeat combatants in cat catch crash and defeating guardians will award bonus progress i fucking hate whoever named catch crash catch crash it's such a stupid name but this one's a little bit annoying, I guess, unless we have a scout rifle that is also uh, stasis, which I'm looking up right now. We do have one. We have, okay, so it's only one. It's a world drop. It's Persis D. So if you don't have that, that's quite unfortunate. After this, I'll actually show you the weapon so that way you guys can be uh, ready for it. But actually that one right there but we'll look at it in a bit we have superconductor defeat guardians and crucible bonus progress is granted for opponents defeated with the help of arc or stasis effects not hard everyone and their mom is using arc right now if you don't want to use arc stasis is also a good option so just be aware of that acquires christ mutiny this is the new grenade launcher that came out this season you can get this from crucible gambit or vanguard Pick your poison and play that until you get it. It's not hard at all. Oh, Captain. Defeat Cabal and Fallen Bosses in Strikes or Vanguard Playlists. This one's going to be annoying just because, again, you have to be lucky and get Cabal and or Fallen Bosses. It's it's going to be annoying. Uh, just be aware that sometimes the Nightfalls are really clutch and will have Fallen or Cabal enemies. We'll look at the Nightfall as well to see if we can like kill this one real fast. So pretty much it for that let's look at let's look at the nightfall what is it this exodus crash this is perfect because now you can actually do the oh captain you can do this one at least the fallen portion of it but you can also do the antiquarian five because powerful fallen so what i would probably do if i want to just be lazy is bump this up to legend so that way no one's in my team and just go through the first area killing shit and die over and over. But that's if I'm being lazy or if I want to just get this shit done real fast. Uh, also the weapon, let's see. So this is for a video that's literally going to come out right after this video. But this is the per the scout rifle. You can use this one for sure. Obviously, you're going to have to use uh, stasis as well because you're going to be want to want to be double dipping. But yeah, this is probably going to be the best choice. Actually, probably gonna be one oh i don't have it anymore wow well the this perk right here has a chance to drop with the one where when you get a headshot a stasis crystal pops up make sure you have that if you don't it's not the end of the world because again you could just go to stasis and just do that just trying to help you guys make do this as fast as possible as for Eververse, let's get into it. Abyssinian Gold. If you guys didn't pick this up last week, pick it up now because this is a really good shader, a really good black shader. Now, just be aware that the the uh, cloth is going to be super black. That's the black portion that you're going to want to see. But the plate armor is going to have this like brown color to it. Not all plate armor, mind you. A lot. There's the off color of this is a really dark black for the plate armor. So yeah, this shader is like, without a doubt, one of the best shaders in the game. If you want to have just pure black, we have overflowing treasure, which I'm not going to look at dread from below, which is for Telesto. This is fallen themed. If I remember correctly, 
there's looking out which is from this no this season of something i don't remember that season and then we have binary system mm, is that season of the hunt maybe pretty good pretty good ornament uh i'm probably never gonna pick it up though because i never use this weapon we have feng huang for our, for the what's it what's this exotic called uh phoenix protocol which is a really good ornament i actually do like this ornament there's some problems to it but i mean i would i would probably pick it up although the other ornament for it is the better choice to be quite honest The August Corsair for the Sparrow looks very boring. The Canopus Wing for the... Wow, that looks stupid. <laughs> Heartfire Shell for the Solar Armor from last season. This is the Ghost. There's a ship in Sparrow too. And then the Feast of Feelings, which is... Oh, wow. This is sad. Okay. Okay. And then we have Trinity for the shader, which is, it's not a bad shader. Uh, wow. I'd pick this one up. I mean, the green, this is the only thing that kind of like irks me is this green's not that great. We have Smudge Pot Bruise, which is a really good black and blue shader. Just be aware that this shader, plate armor specifically, has in like symbols and stuff on in it. It's either the blue or the black armor piece. I don't remember. We have copper brand, which looks terrible. And then Rustberry, which is such a good shader if it wasn't for the white. <laughs> because it's it if you have like a pure like plate armor look, it's gonna look good with it. The only problem is anything that's cloth related turns white. So that's pretty much it for Eververse and for the video itself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What you guys are get, what are you guys gonna be doing this week? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I chose the wrong character to see what the week or what the the thing is. This let me see. Yeah, whatever. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll links are in the description below. Thank you all for coming to this point, and I'll see y'all later.